Um, well, it was actually the first time I'd ever operated this machine. I was there helping a uh, bloke out that was on light duties, and I basically stopped the conveyor and climbed up on it. Um, when I fixed the um, problem with the jam up, it started up on its own and took off pretty quickly with me with it. It's dragged along for about eight to ten metres. It was so lucky that I was, there was actually two of us there working on the machine and my mate was able to stop it for me and help me out um, because he pulled me up about uh, six to eight feet from going into a furnace. So I, I was really lucky. Yeah. Really, a lot of times when I think about it, I as a patient had it pretty easy or easier than others. Like my family and friends and that, they were the ones sitting outside operating theatres and doing the worrying and, and not knowing what's going to happen next, you know. Like the impact it had on their life is so real and, and even to this day, it's, it still impacts on, on my family and my friends. Since my accident, I, I've become really passionate about safety and I guess Doing this program with work covering the Paralympic Committee, it, it gives me an opportunity to try and help others. And I guess the way I look, look at it, number one, if I can help prevent one person from going through what I went through, well, my job's done. Yeah, well, it's, it's strange. We, we insure our cars and our houses, but we so often leave the most precious thing in life, our ability to, to function as a normal human being. We, we leave that down to luck and the belief that, you know, it won't happen to me if it's a bad thing. And truly, we can't be lucky all the time. We do have to think about our safety before we find out by accident.